Hello, my name is Dr. Lee Roberts and I'm head of school of STEM. Now, if you're a student, want to become a student of STEM, the chances are you want to be, become part of the following careers. So STEM is made up of science, ICT and technology, construction and engineering. Now, if you're a student of STEM, we have the following motto. Be bold, be brave. It's your chance to change the world. And when I mean change the world, if you have a look at the issues that affect the UK and the world, they all can be saved by people studying courses in STEM. So, for instance, if you think about the issues caused by Brexit and engineer, Brexit and the manufacturing, then the chances are an engineering career will help solve those problems. Equally, if you look at COVID, um, the pharmacology, I think, is going to become one of the country's biggest industries soon. And so if you're interested in science, any career involved that's medical involving pharmacology is going to be a big one of the future. Equally, what we've done recently is a lot of people have moved to, start to working and studying online. And I think this technology is going to increase. So there's lots of new careers that's going to be created in ICT and technology. And finally, if you look at climate change, there's going to be the need of sustainable homes, which if you study construction, you'll be looking at building um, homes of the future. Now, the chances are, if you want to come and study at STEM, then there'll be lots of questions that are burning inside you about what it's like to study in the college and so on. So what I'm going to do is invite a potential student into the room and she's going to ask me lots of questions to do with what it's like to study in STEM and work in STEM. So hello Anne Jones, how are you today? I'm well, how are you today? I'm fine. I gather you've got some questions you want to ask me. What would you like to ask me? I do. So mainly it's kind of about um, life at the college. And um, my first one is, what is the main difference between school and college? OK, so in school, then you're expected to turn up at nine o'clock, stay until four, and you'll have lessons continually. With college, you'll have to be a lot more self-disciplined. We do have lessons about the three days a week or at, well, four days a week, and they're not likely to be back to back. So we'll expect you to turn up at each lesson where you'll be registered. But in between lessons, you're free to go where you want to go. So you have to be a lot more self-disciplined at college compared to school. Okay. E equally, there's no school uniform to wear. And so that goes to everywhere. So you've got a lot more freedom, a lot more choice, and a lot more. You can express yourself a lot more, I think, in college compared to school. Awesome. And um, what is the typical day at college? Like, what would the timetable be like? OK, so it does tend to start at nine o'clock and lessons, the latest lesson will end at five. So what you've got to do is make sure that you can get a train or bus or you can walk to get to college by nine so you're not late for any lessons. Equally, make sure you can get home quite quickly. So the earliest we start is nine o'clock. The latest is five o'clock. And um, as I've just said, they can break up a bit. So you could have a long three hour lesson, which it will be, you'll be if you have a practical session, or it could be a shorter one and a half hour session, which is more theoretical and will involve you in taking part in a lot of active learning, like group work, problem solving and so on. So the timetable will be three days a week for your vocational areas, uh, maximum uh, earliest at nine, ending latest at five, um, you'll have a tutorial in the middle of the day and that'll be followed by lunch. So you have tutorial once a week for an hour and in that tutorial you get the chance to learn things like safeguarding and really get to know a personal tutor who's eventually going to write your reference to go wherever you want to go. Cool. And um, what, what would the expectations be of the students? Well, students will be expected to... Um, be a be punctual for the lessons so to turn up to sort of 10 minutes before a lesson if that was possible um you expected to have 90 percent attendance at least you're expected to come prepared for your lesson so prepared with pen pencil and so on if you're doing a practical call class you'll be expected to um come with your protective equipment with lab coat goggles boots depending on what you're actually studying um, and yeah, you'll be expected to behave, to take your coats off and to actually engage, fully engage in your lessons. Mm. 
that makes sense and um what are the types of homework like okay so unlike school which all these mostly leads to GCSE exams mm. we have a range of um, courses some will have exams in it and if you have exams in it you'll be expected to do activities that will lead you to be very successful in those exams equally if you've got assignments when you have an assignment we can't actually teach you to do your assignment so what we do is we teach you to do activities that are related to the assignment so when it comes to the assignment you can get the maximum possible grade cool and um and what um what careers do people um generally go into after the studying so it all depends on what area you've got you're going in so if you have a look at firstly at construction people from construction tend to go into um, plumbing apprenticeships or carpentry apprenticeships but equally have courses now that lead to construction management and courses which involve doing courses at university and then going into site supervision and that sort of thing. If you do science at present some um, science careers go go through university um, so there's a whole range of possible careers at the moment you can choose from so it could be forensic science anything to do with the medical sciences including things like dental hygiene um, there's careers now that do or go into the medical profession and so on like that so there's a whole range of science and medical careers science careers and of course physical science careers which lead to things like astrophysics and things like that if you go into engineering, we have mechanical routes or electrical engineering routes. And again, you can take those routes through university or you can get an apprenticeship for that. And equally ICT, there's also the choice to go to an apprenticeship um, such as cybersecurity or to study it at university. So at university, they study a whole range of things, including cybersecurity, programming, networking, that sort of thing. Cool. And um, and what what? What do you think I should be doing in order to achieve my grades to get in? Well, hopefully you're aiming at a level three course, um, which means you're doing as well as you can possibly at school. So with level three, we expect to have five GCSEs, grade four and above, preferably one that's English or maths. If you don't get one of them, you get the chance to study English and maths alongside your main level three um, course. Mm. Equally, if you don't um, do as well as you think don't panic because we do have level one and level two courses which do lead to the level three courses and you'll have the chance to study both English and maths to the right level and so eventually you will be able to achieve your dream of whatever career you want. Cool. And, uh, and what, what support is available? So we have lots of support available. Firstly as I mentioned we have tutorial support which is one hour a week uh, you have it. You have your tutorial one hour a week, and you'll do lots of things to do with safeguarding and things in that tutorial. You'll also have lots of one-to-ones where you can tell your tutor any problem; they'll help solve it. You can talk to your tutor any time. If you're having trouble academically, then you're, you've got a very um, helpful team of tutors which will take any time of the day to help you with certain problems. Or there's even small group work. Um, if a group of people are having similar problems, we can add extra classes with small group work. Cool. That sounds brilliant. Um, thank you so much for answering all my questions. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for coming to ask those questions, Anne. I hope you have a good day. You too. Thank you. OK, so hopefully we've answered some of your questions about coming to the college and studying STEM. I'm sure there are others. And if there's others, we have lots of open days. So look out for the open days at Richmond upon Thames College. If you want to apply for any of our courses, please go to the college website, which is www.rutc.ac.uk and look at the details of each of the courses and make your choice. And I hope to see you at an open day. Um, soon or even in September when you're starting the college. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.